Greetings, third generation crew. I'm 103, one of the last remaining mech pilots from the second wave. While my mech undergoes repairs, I've taken it upon myself to deliver a series of informative videos to prepare you for the world that awaits. It's crucial, especially if by the time you arrive there are none of us left. Currently, only 35 Slayers remain from the second generation. But, anyway, let us delve into the matter at hand. It's been five years since the Convergence of Realms. Surprisingly, we're still here, but things have changed drastically. Initially, it was believed that worlds caught in Convergence event would collide and vanish, but that wasn't the case this time. Instead of destruction, there was transformation. Worlds merged into a colossal, twisted planet. Unfortunately, even after five years, our comprehension of this unfamiliar planet remains restricted. We still don't know the exact size of it, how many islands or continents there are, or how many new species share this planet with us now. Sometimes it feels like every new day brings us face to face with a new creature. And unfortunately, about 95% of them are hostile. Hold up. Yeah, I see him. You think it's a coincidence that he stands right next to the supplies? Hardly. I bet he knows that this place attracts people. A perfect hunting spot? Exactly. So what's your call? Follow me. Let's see if we can simply scare him off. Come on, freak. Piss off already. Quite sensitive, aren't we? Now be a good boy and bugger off. Should take a picture for 125. Our understanding of this world is severely limited because all the old satellites have vanished. As for the new ones, or space travel in general, well, anything that ventures beyond orbit simply vanishes without a trace. There's presumably something up there that eludes detection, and whatever it is, it certainly isn't welcoming visitors, that's for sure. As a result, we've resorted to traditional cartography to navigate this unexplored terrain. And given the lurking danger around every corner, this process progresses painstakingly slowly. As you can see behind me, most of the territory is shrouded in a green fog. We're uncertain if it covers the entire planet or just our location. But what we do know is that long exposure to this fog, without protective gear, leads to irreversible side effects, often proving lethal. Any living creatures exposed to it for a long period of time will lose sanity and become aggressive husks. If not neutralized, they undergo metamorphosis, turning into eldritch beasts that embody their deepest fears. Sadly, there's no cure for this disease. Most of our planet's population managed to adapt in time. However, for inhabitants of other planets whose technological progress lagged far behind ours, it's highly likely that the majority of them had already transformed into beasts. The green fog began appearing approximately a year after the convergence. Its origins remain unknown, but there is speculation. Initial reports of its presence started coming from the south. Consequently, we're organizing an expedition to investigate whether it's a natural occurrence or a manufactured one. Now, let's talk about the main human factions we're up against. Out west, there's the Terra Shield Alliance, TSA, formed from the remnants of human civilization. They're well-equipped, organized, and fiercely xenophobic. Their goal is to eradicate anything non-human or with eldritch blood. Are you ready? Sir, yes, sir! You might assume it's good news since we share a similar goal, and we could potentially ally with them. Unfortunately, that's not the case. They not only regard us as non-humans, but also accuse us of causing the Convergence event. So, what's the story with those eldritch slayers? 
Those freaks are the ones who caused the end of the world. For real? But how did they do it? I've heard they were opening portals and summoning beasts. It inevitably caused the apocalypse. No way! Why no one stopped them? We tried. Irony, right? Initially, they blame us for dimensional rifts, initiating a sudden purge against us and the Guardians. Then, with no one remaining to seal the dimensional rifts and the convergence of realms taking place, they once again pin the blame on us. Anyway, at present, TSA is gradually extending its borders northward. Therefore, we're doing our utmost to steer clear of their path. Another significant human faction is the Church of Cleansing Fire, mainly situated to the east. Brothers and sisters, we stand at the precipice of a new era. Similar to TSA, their aim is to rid the world of the Eldritch disease. However, their methods are excessively brutal and unethical compared to TSA. Despite their claims of being a holy institution, they operate more like an insane cult. Incinerating anything or anyone they suspect of being tainted by Eldritch blood. Do not falter in your duty. We must purge the unclean from our midst, casting them into the fires. Regarding us, they consider us as the ultimate sacrifice for their god, and they'll stop at nothing to capture us alive. 307 and 172 were burned alive by them. Given our regenerative abilities, you can imagine the agony they endured before succumbing. In retaliation, we eliminate those bastards on sight. I tell you, brothers, it was a haunted pizzeria with animatronics in it. Hey, holy boy. Cleanse this. To bolster their ranks, they forcefully recruit individuals into their fold, then subject them to brainwashing, transforming them into obedient fanatics prepared to die in their holy war. At one point, the Church of Cleansing Fire grew so audacious that it attempted to raid TSA settlements, sparking several bloody battles between the factions. Eventually, a ceasefire was negotiated, and now both groups strive to avoid each other's paths. Let's move, people! We're on a tight schedule here! The last major human faction I want to mention is the Twisted Skull Unit. I must admit, we were quite surprised to discover that they still exist. Compliance with camp protocol is mandatory. Failure to report non-compliance will result in further detention. However, these days, they are more organized and equipped to handle the Eldritch threat compared to before the Convergence. Rumors suggest that their ranks are now primarily composed of death row criminals, individuals in debt, and other desperate souls who willingly sell their lives. To add to that, explosives are implanted into their helmets to ensure compliance with any given order. If any of them disobey or attempt to escape, their heads are blown off. Quite harsh if you ask me. TSU typically operates from the shadows, keeping a distance from both TSA and the Church of Cleansing Fire. Moreover, for some reason, the Twisted Skull Unit is now more inclined towards capturing monsters alive rather than eliminating them on sight. This peculiar behavior concerns us, and we intend to infiltrate one of their facilities soon to uncover their motives. One more crucial point I should note about them is that much like TSA and the Church of Cleansing Fire, they desire our demise. Well, that comes as no surprise. So, that concludes the overview of the three primary human factions we're currently contending with. Certainly, there are numerous smaller human factions present, but I'll delve into them in future informative videos. The same goes for non-human factions, as there are quite a few of them. Anyway, 201 is on the verge of returning from her scout mission. To Settlement 17. From what I've gathered, a new deadly foe was discovered, so I'm eager to learn more about it. 103, signing off.
The story will continue in future episodes of Eldritch Paradox. Also, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already, and turn on channel notifications next to the subscribe button. By doing so, you help new things to happen and don't miss them.